another short video of the Revox A77 Mark IV. Um, I put the case back on it today. Um, cleaned some more fluff out of inside of it. Um, installed an LED in place of the uh, dial light. The dial light that was in it uh, sort of working on and off. It was intermittent, so the actual bulb's intermittent. This isn't the original fitment, somebody's put this in, sort of a wired in type bulb and um, there's something intermittent in, inside of it. So I didn't have the correct bulb so instead I, I replaced it with a with an LED and uh, I'll be the last time anybody ever <laughs> needs to replace that. It draws about 8 milliamps whereas the bulb used to draw about 50 milliamps. Um, so it's been running all day um, since I put the cap case back on it. This is a second uh, tape that's been pulled through it, uh, ten and a half inch rails. Um, the case temperature um, above the motors. Uh, so this is the, the take up motor is about 42, 43. And the rewind motor is about 40 ish. So very, very comparable. Um, the, Faster rotating motor gets a little bit more cooling because the um, the rotor, the bell of the motor, actually rotates a bit more, which causes a little bit more uh, heat loss. Um, but apart from that, it's, it's pretty identical. Being no indication at all of any uh, hesitation of the take up uh, spool, so no tape uh, spillage. Tape transport's been working great. So I'm not really sure what uh, what the problem is. Um, it's actually working great. Um, the um, VU meters are working good. I'll uh, just stop this and rewind it, just to demo how fast it rewinds. I first rewound one of these uh, tape recorders. I was I was almost frightened at the speed it rewound. And uh, I think actually my A77 um, Mark I rewinds a little bit faster than this one. And um, towards the end of the rewind action, when this the uh, this spool is, is almost empty, it's, uh, it's doing a real fast number of RPM. The tape counter is working good. It's nice and quiet, no strange rattles or noises. The only noises you occasionally get are when the tape catches the edge of the spools because the spools aren't perfectly flat. And again, these are very old spools. These are probably date from the 70s or 80s. This recorder itself probably dates from about 1972, 73, something like that. Mine, which is a Mark I, dates from 1967, I think. It's a very early Mark I. So the technique on these, and the brakes are pretty good on this this actual unit, but uh, the recommended way to brake these is to actually, when you see the tape is almost um, almost zero on there, you just um, click the uh, click the fast forward momentarily, and that does the brake in action electronically, uh, electrically rather than uh, using the brake. So I'm clicking right now and then stop it. That's the preferred technique of how to do that. Um, certainly saves uh, wear and tear on the brake drums. I'll try it again and uh, just this will be the third uh, third tape it's run through. It's on uh, three and three quarter IPS. So this, if it's going to heat up, this is the one it's going to heat up most because it's the most breaking action on the uh, on the tape. So I shall, I will put it on the faster speed. And there's two settings: one for larger reels and one for smaller reels for each of the two speeds. Because um, so 
sounds a bit strange. <laughs> anyway, I'll let it run through it, uh, that and see what uh, happens this time.